Hi guys, it's Misty from the Book Rat. Got a quick IMM for you for the third week of March. I'm still without my contacts, so again, if I don't focus or hold something really close to my face, just pretend you didn't see it. Alright, so, gonna start with um, one that I got as a gift from Ellie from Els Reads. She sent me The Iron Thorn. Um, she had just done a really great review of this, and I hadn't really been um, feeling too much of a need to read it until I read her review and she mentioned that it was steampunky and for some reason I didn't put that together. If I had read anything about the book I would have realized that, but I just looked at the cover because I'm shallow. Um, so I didn't realize that and she said it was really good, so I'm looking forward to it. This just came out so you can check that out. Um, I also have a few that I won from Library Thing Early Reviewers. I won Relic Master. Um, it's the first Dark City book. I might have that backwards. It could be The Dark City and it's the first Relic Master book. I think that's probably more likely, actually. Um, but it's by Catherine Fisher, who wrote Inversoron. And it has this neat little insert, if I can show you, of all of the covers. And then the back of that is a map, which I thought was pretty cool. So this is a new series that's starting. This one comes out in May. I'll try to have a review up around then. Um, and I also won Tweetheart, which is Sign. Let me show you real quick. Signed copy of Tweetheart, um, which is neat. It's kind of a little book told in tweets and the occasional blog post, which sounds like it could be interesting, could completely miss the mark, but um, Nina of Jador Books gave this a pretty good review. And then I also won a signed copy of Dead Beautiful which has a beautiful cover. Um, I've heard really mixed reviews on this one though, so we'll see, but I'll try to have reviews of, the, of those fairly soon, but with Fairy Tale Fortnite and Jane and June coming, we'll see. Um, and then the rest are books that I bought. This is actually from last week, but I said that I would show you. It was Spending the Weekend with my friend Evie, so it's back now. I got River Marks by Patricia Briggs. Excited about that. I also got The Frog Prince fairy tale for consenting adults. Um, I thought this sounded really cute. I'm going to try to squeeze it in for fairy tale Fortnite, but the dock is pretty full, so it might be saved for next year. Um, I also bought The Shadow of the Wind, which I've had a few people recommend to me very, very, very strongly. Um, so I've just been kind of sporadically checking for cheap copies, and I found one. <laughs> and then one that's been on my wish list for quite some time. A Concise Chinese-English Dictionary for Lovers. Um, it's by Zhao Lu Guo, and I don't know if you'll recall, quite a while, about a year ago, I bought um, 20 Fragments for Ravenous Youth, which is also by her, and has one of my favorite covers of all time. Um, this actually, I wanted to get the cover that had pomegranates on it, because I just thought it was a little more special, and I thought that was the one I clicked on, but I guess I didn't. Um, the three of these I got from thriftbooks.com, which is super awesome and I love them. So if you haven't ever checked them out, I would suggest it. Free shipping in the U.S. Um, and lastly, I got Room, which everyone has been talking about and sounds really interesting. Um, so that's everything from my mailbox. It's kind of a lot this week. I got more books than there were days in the week, and it's Thursday that I'm recording this, so if that says anything. But that's everything in my mailbox. What'd you get in yours?